Hey everybody, welcome to the Wheel Series. Today is the inaugural episode, episode number one of the Wheel Strategy Series, where I'm actually running a Wheel account. I set up an account with Tastyworks. If you need a Tastyworks account because they're hands down the best option trading platform, hit up the link in the description. The channel gets a credit and I really, really appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe or even grab a membership. Join our channel for 25 bucks a month. You get access to a private Slack community and you get members only videos when I post them on the channel. So come over and check us out there. So I've got Tastyworks running right now and I've got my wheel platform or account set up and I just wanna show it to you and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did this morning. Um, I recorded myself putting on my first trade in this account for the wheel strategy series. Now, if you aren't familiar with what I'm talking about in terms of the wheel or selling options premium with this strategy, go ahead and check out this video. That'll break it down. You'll kind of have a better understanding of, of what I'm doing. But the goal of this series is to pick something out, say, let's pay a mortgage. So let's say our mortgage, let's just establish it. It's a thousand bucks. Okay. Here's our mortgage. It's a thousand dollars. How can we pay that in one month's time trading the wheel strategy in options? So what I've done is I've actually picked out a stock that I like and I've been trading in my retirement account for a while. And the reason I've been trading it is because it has really good implied volatility, meaning premium is a little higher. When volatility climbs, premium prices climb. So you can get paid a little bit more for taking risk than if volatility is lower. So with Novavax, it's been trading really, really nice and it's been anytime I sell a put, um, I'm able to collect a pretty decent percentage of the price. Here's kind of my rule of thumb. I just wanna show this to you real quick. So I'm gonna show you the trade where I actually put this on here in just a second, but let's say you go out and you decide, I wanna sell this 130 strike and I'm gonna sell it for, let's say 835. So you'll get paid $835 to do this. And the strike price is 130. So let's go ahead and just grab our calculator and let's just take um, $8.35 and divide that by the strike, 130. Now that comes out to be 0.06. You multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. So I'm at 6.42%. My rule of thumb is, I like to typically trade the wheel on something that's paying me more than two and a half percent premium when it's relative to the strike price. So I don't want to sell this 130 strike in Novavax for a dollar. That in my opinion wouldn't be worth it. I would look for something a little frothier, a little juicier. And you're going to see in the video that I'm about to play for you exactly what I did. And you're going to be able to see if you do the calculation that it's in excess of that 2% or 2.5%. Um, if you can get upwards of 3, 4, and 5%, you're looking really, really good. But what I want to do is sell the naked put, and I'm going to do it 10 days out. Once 10 days are over, if it expires and I'm out of the money, then what I'll do is I'll rinse and repeat. I'll put another put on 10 days out. And you might be wondering, why 10 days out? Everyone says 45 days, or 24 days, or 5 days. 10 days is just nice because it gives me enough premium to make an opportunity for me where I could do this multiple times in one month. So what I like to do is I like to go about 30 deltas. And when I say 30 deltas, you can see this delta co column over here. Here's 30 right there. Now what 30 delta means is you could basically almost convert this over and say 30 delta means 30%. There's a 30% chance that this contract that I'm going to go in the money on this contract, okay, that I'm going to expire in the money. 70% chance that I won't, that this will expire worthless. That's a rough way to look at delta. I like to go about 30 deltas in that neighborhood to pick my strikes. Now, if I go 10 days out and my 30 delta premium is $5, and then I come here 24 days out, which is more than double the amount of time, and $30 is trading for eight something, I would rather do the shorter term because if I do two of those, I can collect over $10 and still be shorter time frame than this when it's paying me only 835. 
So you kind of want to see what the multiples are. If you can get $1 at 10 days and $8 at 20 days, you want to do the 20 days because it makes more sense because two of the $1 is only $2, whereas the one that was eight is significantly more. So I just look at things that way. I look at the shorter term options. If I can get something a little frothier here, I'll do that. If I need to go 17 days, I'll do that. And ultimately, if I have to do it, I'll go the full month at a time. That's not as likely for me because one of my approaches to the wheel is, let's say that I sell a naked put, and let's say I sell this 130 right here, and then the very next day I get breached and the stock's at 120. Well, if I'm only 10 days out, I've got a lot more options in terms of pumping this contract or pumping my position full of extrinsic value. What I mean by that is, if I'm only 10 days out and I put the trade on and I get breached, I could immediately roll out multiple weeks and roll that position down and out in time for a credit and still only be roughly a month out. The problem for me when I put on a trade that's 38, 45 days out is that if I get breached right away and I try to roll, a lot of times you don't have strike options yet that are very close, so your only option is, is to roll like months and months and months out, and you don't really wanna do that because the decay is so slow and you have to wait so long. I like to play in the playground of within about 50 days. So if I start at 10 and everything goes well, then I don't have to worry about it, it just let it expire. If I start at 10 days and I get breached, I can immediately roll that position and address it by pumping some intrinsic value or some extrinsic value into it. So maybe I roll out to 24 days. Maybe a week goes by, 17 days, maybe we get 16, 15 days and I get breached again. Well, we're only a couple weeks out. I could then roll out to maybe 31 days and roll down and out. And then maybe a week goes by and I get breached again. Then I could roll out to 38 days. I'm trying to play within about 50 days time without going beyond it. So I like to start nice and tight around 10 days. That keeps things organized for me. That way if I get breached, I can play defense. Defense is super important to me because with options, you, you always have options, but I think you have really good juicy options if you stay closer. Now this is just for my wheel strategy. If you just wanna put on an options position and let it ride, like put on a put spread or sell a call spread, by all means, you can go 45 days out because you get optimal decay over time. But for me, I wanna be able to defend these because I'm being a little more aggressive. I'm at the 30 delta mark right here, 30 delta. Now on this, you can see, here's the expected move. Expected moves 115. So if you were just gonna sell this as a normal position, you might consider selling the 110 because it's outside the expected move. You're still collecting a nice credit. Everything looks good. But for me with this 10 day income earning monthly strategies, I wanna get in and be a little juicier. I wanna go 30 delta. So that's my reasoning. So with that being said, let's jump over to this video. I'm gonna show you the live trade and then you'll come back for a couple of final takeaways and then we'll close out the video. So enjoy watching me put on this trade. Check out Novavax. So I wanna show you on the Tastyworks platform what I have going on here. If I go up here and click accounts, you can see that I have my wheel account and I've got $17,000 in it. And it does allow for $34,000 of stock buying power, but I'm not gonna be interested in that necessarily right now. Um, I'm gonna start the wheel off as you've seen in uh, previous videos, just talking about selling puts. So let's jump into it and it actually works out pretty well today just because selling puts on down days tends to be a little better idea and I'm gonna show you exactly why. So if I come up here and I type in invax.ivr, and again, if you guys want a Tastyworks account, if you wanna sign up and use this amazing options trading platform, please use the link in the description because that will give the channel a credit. I really appreciate it. So looking at this, you can see this is the, the IVR, which is the volatility rank for Novavax. And you can see that way up here, it was almost at 65, right around 65. Premium would have been the most frothy up here. This would have been the best premium. And then as this dropped, 
your sold put would have lost value and you could have bought it back cheaper and kept the difference. So right now, we're looking at about 31.31 uh, according to the IVR, which is up from yesterday's low. Now, anytime a stock drops, you tend to get an increase in volatility. So if I come back over to just the normal Novavax chart, you can see that we are down a little bit today and that's responsible for that IVR increase. So what I wanna do is take advantage of not only this little red day we're having so far, and it could drop further, um, but also the increase in volatility. So let's pop over, and actually before I do that, I just wanna to go to the VIX, and I wanna see what the overall market is doing in volatility. So you can see the market volatility got really low this morning, almost down, almost to the mid 16s, and now it's back up two points. So Overall, it's up only 12 cents on volatility, but it is up from uh, quite a bit more from its actual low this morning. So we've got rising volatility, which creates a better environment to sell premium into. Now let's go back to Novavax, and let's put this on live. You're here to see this live, so let's do this. This is the inaugural trade, the inaugural wheel trade in this new wheel account that I'm going to create the series around I'm going to update you on everything that's happening on these trades. You're going to see the balance, you're going to see the losses, you're going to see everything in this account. You, you can see right now, if I come back here to chains and activity, there's been nothing going on, nothing's happened yet um, in this account. So let's go ahead and let's take a peek here. Let's go to the options chain. Now my approach with this, here's what I want to do. I want to collect a decent amount of premium because we're going to try and pay our mortgage. We're going to try and pay our, our mortgage each month, which we'll call a thousand bucks. So if we can make a thousand dollars a month cash, that'd be perfect. So what I want to do is I want to give myself opportunity for multiple little strikes if it works in my favor. So if I trade the 10 day and I look for something that could be reasonable thinking if in 10 days this one works, could I put another one on? and reach $1,000 within 30 days. Well, if I'm trading these 10 days, there's a chance I could put three on in a month. So 10 days, I wanna come and focus around the 30 delta. That was kind of my thought process. And right now it looks like it's a little wide here. Let's see what we can do. 10 days out, if I come to the one, let's maybe look at the 133. So the 133, I might try this one and see if I can get filled for 510 at 143. Let's just see if that'll fill. If it will, uh, then that'll be great. Um, let's go ahead and review and send this trade. So right now here you can see we're in the wheel account. We're gonna try and sell one June 4th, 133 strike naked put. 10 days out. We're going to sell it to open STO. You can see my commission's a buck, 14 cents in fees, and it looks like it's going to use about $5,300 buying power, and it's going to put $508.86 in my account. So let's go ahead. Let's see if we can get this. Let's send it out. All right, so right now you can see the natural versus the limit. So you can see there is a dollar between these two. I'm going to give it a second and just see what it wants to do. Sometimes you can go to replace order and you can mess with it a little bit. So yeah, it did move a little bit on us because it started to climb. So maybe what I'll do, sometimes the $5 strikes are a little bit better. Um, we are, let's go ahead and clear this out. And I'm actually going to cancel this order. And I'm gonna come back and let's look at, you know, maybe we just go ahead and look at the 135. Let's see what the 135, let's try this. Let's try to go one, let's go, let's go five and a half dollars. Let's see if we can get that. So let's review this. So we're gonna sell one 10 days out using the 135 strikes, selling to open. We'll put $548.86 in our account. We're gonna use a little over $5,500. Let's go ahead and fire this off. Let's see if we can get it. Again, we're kind of encountering that little bit of a dollar. 
seems like things have been shifting around a little. Let's try to go, let's try our 510 again. Same thing, 135 put, 10 days out, a little over 500 bucks, let's see if we can get this one. There it is. Okay, we are officially underway. Just got the confirmation on my phone. Now you can see this white dot showing that we are 10 days out. We are in this account and you can see that now we have $11,446 of buying power. So let's come up to our positions tab and let's see what we've got. So right now, Novavax, one naked put at 135. We're open, we're down five bucks on the position. We got paid $5.10. If I come up here, let me see if I can look at, yes, yeah, so right here, so you can see right away that if I go to activity, I got paid $5.10. And if I go to the chains, this is gonna keep track of all my trades on Novavax. So if we have to roll this trade in the future, that's not a problem. We'll be able to keep track of every roll so that we know exactly how much premium we've collected. So let's take a look at this. Let's look, let's look at the beautiful part about this trade. So if in fact, Novavax decides to drop below 135 in the next 10 days, which is down here. It's fine because my break even, because I got paid $5.10, is actually going to be 129.90 right down here. Okay? That's our break even. And if you want, what I could do, let's put a price level in and let's put that there. And then I'm going to change this. Let's see, I think I can double click that. There we go. So let's change it to maybe like a white line. And let's make the, let's go one, 129.90, which is our exact break even. So right now, if you look at this position, here's where we are. We're sitting for 10 days. We want this to expire above 135. Our break even is 129.90 because we collected the $5.10. So we have to subtract that from 135, which is our strike. So let's come back over here. So here's our positions. So you can see right now we're down $17. Now, here's the thing about watching these puts. If the stock continues to drop, this will grow as a bigger loss. If the stock moves higher, this will become a gain, right, with the puts. Now, it's the, it's the other way around for covered calls. If we get into that, I'll show you that. But right now, we're just going to focus on the naked put. So if in 10 days we can make $510, we're well on our way to paying our $1,000 mortgage because we'll be able to take this one off, let it expire, or close it for a very cheap price. I'll show you how that goes, because I'm gonna record everything. And then from there, we're gonna be able to turn around and put on the covered call. So if we do get put the shares, and we have to then come out to you know, another 10 or 14 days, we will then have the shares at 135, and we'll be looking to sell something just out of the money to collect money on these shares because we will own 100 shares. So right now, I think we look pretty good. We got our one trade. We're carrying 16 beta weighted deltas. And we'll just keep this running. Right now, we're flat on the position. We got paid $5.10. You can see our account right here has dropped in buying power. And we're just gonna sit and wait. And I will keep you updated on exactly what's happening and we'll go through this whole series showing you how you can make monthly income, picking out a few stocks or even just one stock like I'm doing and just turning it over again and again and again. So I wanna thank you for checking this out. Let's finish up the video here with a couple other takeaways. All right, so what do you think? Was that interesting? I got that placed, you've seen the inside of the account and now moving forward, I'm gonna show you guys everything that happens in this position. If I get breached, you're gonna see me roll. If it expires, you're gonna see me take it off and put it back on. You're gonna see everything happen and I'm gonna show you the profit and loss in this account. I'm convinced that you can pay your mortgage
by picking a couple of stocks and using those to just wheel strategy. Now again, I'm not telling anyone to trade Novex or anything else. This is just my thoughts on my account and I want you to be able to see this because maybe you might learn something or something might appeal to you so that you could put something on in your account at your discretion based on what you may like or don't like. So with that being said, sign up for a Tastyworks account down in the description, hit that link. If you want to grab a membership at our channel, hit the join button on the main page of the YouTube channel. Come over and join us for 25 bucks a month. And if you join and you tell me in the email after you join, email me so I can send you the link to the private Slack group. But let me know you just joined and I'll let you pick a topic for the next video for the members only video. And I'll make that video specifically for you if you're our next member. Thanks for stopping by. Hope this was helpful. I'm looking forward to the rest of the series. Turn on your bell notifications so that you don't miss when I post on this series. And if you got any value from this, hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video.